So if you've got a Honda Pilot that's rusted out, let me show you um, how to fix it. So this is going to be a really brief guide. You're going to have to use your own um, your own uh, methods to fix it. So if it looks something like this, where there's a hole, um, and you might have another piece on top with the bolt coming through here, um, that means you got to do something to fix it. Um, here's the way I fixed it. With a uh, quarter inch steel, I did a L bracket. I welded this bracket together here. Um, and then welded it to the frame. I've got a bolt coming through. Now it's loose. I did not tighten it up. Um, cause I'm working on the other side here. But I'll show you from the top where you need to put your bolts through. Um, and then on this side, I've got a plate here that's welded just tack welded to the to the frame here with a bolt um, you can use a bigger um, piece of steel if you want this is the size I chose in I don't think it's gonna cave in anytime soon that's um, what I did for that side now this side um, gets a little tricky because um, you're gonna have unless yours rusted out there might be a piece like this inside um, and to get your new bolt through, you have to remove this piece. So I had to make a bigger hole here and then drill this out from the inside and then, um, get this part out. So then my new bracket is going to sit right here. Bolt's going to go through here and then into the bottom uh, control arm. So here's what you can see from that hole. You can see right that control arm that's what we're gonna go through uh, so yes once this repair is done it'll be um, working if you're looking for like this side the sizes for here it's probably I don't know an inch or two or a few inches maybe um, I can measure later on too um, this one's gonna be hard well I'll make a little diagram showing something like that um, it's still a work in progress I'm gonna weld the other brackets to the side and then uh, continue on with the repair so here we have a bracket um, that I took from a member on Piloteers uh, the form for Honda Pilots now I only used this half for my um, repair and I didn't use the sizes I just used it as a, a guide um, I used the the plate I did do quarter inch it wasn't five to five it was just whatever I had laying around and in your floor pan you'll drill the holes that I'll show that I show in the video and then he made a little hole repair that's gonna go over the the uh, whole entire cross member I only did this part here so I did about half the repair because the one on the other side was solid I didn't see the need to fix that because it was way more work and I couldn't get the welder in there and I reused the the cushions and everything now I could not fit this washer in here and I used an 8 inch bolt except I used grade 8 uh, so I just used the nut it's a lock nut so I don't think it's going anywhere but the half inch bolt fits perfectly into the subframe and when you use this dishwasher it's not going anywhere so uh, feel free to screenshot this this diagram and use it for your repair as well I realize not everyone knows how to remove these uh, rear seats so it's super simple uh, you remove this cover down here you just pull at the sides and it comes off like that same at the other side then you remove this 14 millimeter bolt and you come over here to the seat and there's a uh, a leather trim piece that you just pull off it's secured by clips and then you lift this top up and the seat belts will slide right through you got two bolts on this side 
right up. Two bolts here, two bolts here, and then there's a little pin here. I don't know if you can see it. Right over here. So you'll have to lift, uh, lift the seat up and out. Or else it's not going to come out. One thing to note is when you're uh, loosening those four bolts, make sure you're holding this side. There's been numerous occasions where this thing whacks me in the head or or my arm and uh, it's got a little point here so it really hurts so when, just be aware of that when you're trying to remove your seats and after that the carpet comes out on the side there's some clips holding it and you can get to the repair I'll be showing so here we have that bracket welded um, and the way it's gonna go in is gonna go in okay so it's gonna go in something like this okay and then it's not flush because I have to remove some metal on the, the right side here but it's gonna go up something like that and then when I jack this up I'll mark where to make the hole and then uh, weld it in well make the hole first then weld it in and then from the top uh, um, then I'll make a bracket and connect it all up and should be golden so I've got this bolt here just showing me the position of where it'll sit once it's done um, I lifted the the uh, subframe up a little bit um, and I've marked where it's going to be. It's going to be roughly right over here. So that um, it'll take up a little bit more space than that. Because that's fairly solid. This, with this big hole, I just want it to be super secure so that uh, it doesn't rip through the floor. Um, yeah, so I'll finish drilling the hole, or start drilling the hole, and then after that, the fun begins, so stick around. Here we have the side that I welded, and it's not the prettiest welds or the the best looking welds, but it's gonna hold it in place here. And I'll just seam seal it here, fill it in here, and uh, spray the undercoating, because it, it's pretty raw over here. And then I'll also seam seal this. I painted it earlier, and I'll just go over it it's probably not gonna hold well but it's just so rust doesn't get in there and keep rusting away at my fix here And there we have it. It's all uh, welded in. It's still a little hot, but and there we have it. A few tack welds is all you need, and then you'll fill in the rest with some seam sealer, as I'll show. And uh, call it a day. Put the seats back in, and put the carpet back, and you're all done. Now I have uh, seam sealed um, this floor uh, with um, well some constructive adhesive because it'll be a waterproof seal and it's gonna prevent rusting right over here. And then I did the same on this side too. It's just drying. I'm gonna do the underside and then spray some 
uh, like undercoating so that the whole bottom of the SUV doesn't rust and then and uh, I just undercoated this inside just to be safe and here's what the bottom looks like it's all painted oh I just got some on the camera uh, it's all painted black here with special undercoating it's not just spray paint so I'll let this dry for an hour or two and um, start putting the car back together I'm gonna leave the interior out um, I just don't want that undercoating and this uh, seam sealer to be fully dry before I put the seats and the carpet in because I don't want to stain anything but from here on out you're pretty much done I just have to bolt the exhaust back here because it's just laying um, I have to put the the hangers back on right here, and it'll be all done all ready to drive safely